Peter Magyar is a political novice with big ambitions. He hopes to challenge Prime Minister Viktor Orban's 14-year iron grip over Hungarian politics. And last month, Magyar met with prospective voters from Hungary's Roma minority, hoping to sway them ahead of next weekend's European Parliament election. It was a rare visit to a notoriously deprived community where hundreds of Roma still live without basic necessities, such as running water. Among those who came to hear Magyar speak were Sandor Botos, a Roma construction worker, and his son. Botos was impressed. He told Reuters, quote, no politician has done this in Hungary before. He showed the world how bad poverty is in these hidden villages, and many politicians do not know about how many children are starving, and they are not in school. Magyar made his appeal explicit last weekend, telling reporters, quote, we have nearly one million Roma compatriots. They are the biggest minority, and nobody has really cared about them for 34 years. Every four years, they are being used at the election, making them vote, and giving them meat stew. And yes, there are support programs to help them. I'm not saying there aren't, but those only reach a few towns. But nobody has done anything to truly support them. The Roma have long suffered from poverty, high unemployment, and discrimination across Eastern Europe. Official data shows just over 200,000 people identify as Roma in Hungary, but activists and sociologists estimate their numbers to be between half a million and one million in the country of nearly 10 million. Magyar's charm offensive may worry Orban's nationalist Fidesz party. Orban has long enjoyed the support of the Roma community and other poorer Hungarians in rural areas, thanks to cash support programs and the party's support for what it calls traditional values. Orban's party, in power since 2010, is comfortably ahead in opinion polls and can expect over 40% of the vote in Sunday's election. But the Tisha party, which Magyar has only led since April, is running second at around 20%. A workfare program launched by the Orban government in 2011 offered employment to tens of thousands who had not held regular jobs for years and helped many of them transition to the regular job market. Alador Horvath, a Roma civil rights activist, told Reuters that annual food price inflation hit 50% at the end of 2022, pushing some Roma back into extreme poverty. He called Magyar's outreach, quote, a good direction, but he said the new political challenger was just beginning to get to know the Roma, and many Roma had yet to get to know the politician.